Welcome again on this call to be the light series. We thank God for his grace for guiding us. My name is Reverend Alfred Appella and we thank God for the two days we have been actually walking through this portion of meditation. Just a reminder that this August we, are, we, 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 we have begun the mission month. And uh, today being a Wednesday, we have a very, very special Wednesday prayer and healing service in the afternoon, I mean in the evening, as from 5.30 p.m. in this cathedral. And we want to welcome you warmly, even as you join us to pray for mission and as we also preach the gospel of Christ. But allow me to go to the word of God right now, even as we meditate. Philippians chapter 2, I'm reading, beginning to read verse 14. It says, do everything without grumbling or arguing. Let us pray. Father, we are thankful to you. Bless this as we share it together in Jesus' name. Amen. Do the all things, do everything without grumbling or arguing. Remember the preceding scriptures are talking about, number one, working out your salvation. And then yesterday we, looked at, we talked about how the Holy Spirit leads us in accordance to his will. And we remember I said that faith is the sail that the winds of God blow, the wind of God or the Holy Spirit blows on to direct you in God's will. So it's important for you to raise your sails of faith and the wind of God, uh, God blows through them. And then Paul writes to the Corinthians and says, even as you go to the will of God, sometimes the will of God is not easy. So Paul is advising the Philippians that do everything without grumbling or murmuring. Carry, in other words, he's telling them, carry out the will of God without grumbling or murmuring. Now, the word murmuring comes from, a, from the dictionary. It means to matter. M-U-T-T-E-R. That's like a complaint. It means, you know, it's like a secret displeasure in the heart that is not publicly revealed. Murmuring. You're so unhappy with doing something, but you don't talk about it. But within you, you are so unhappy. God asks you to do something, and you're so unhappy about it. You don't tell anybody, but it is within. Just right in there. Murmuring. So Paul is telling the, the, the Philippians to actually do the will of God without disputing. And there's also a challenge for us that we also need to continue to do the will of God without disputing, without arguing, without hesitating. That's what he's saying. Remember, it is murmuring and disputing that made the Israelites to actually wander in the wilderness for 40 years. 40 years. They would say, oh, we remember the melons of Egypt. They would remember Egypt in many ways. They would murmur against Moses. And because that, there was stagnation and they grumbled around the wilderness and they did not achieve much. One, one of the plagues that brings stagnation in the body of Christ is the plague of murmuring. People are murmuring a lot, you know. It was murmuring and disputing that actually made these people wander there. So God is calling the church and Philippians, Paul is going to the Philippians and he's telling them God wants them to obey his voice no matter what. Remember Paul was in prison at that time and he, was, he, was, he would have murmured and disobeyed but guess what happened? He remained faithful and true to the call. So what are we saying today, brothers and sisters? We are saying today that it is important for us to do all things, every aspect of our life and work without murmuring. We should have an attitude of uniting with others and interacting with people to serve the Lord wherever we are. One drop of dye, is said, can change the color of water. Your attitude alone can change the atmosphere of your workplace. No matter how gifted you are, your attitude is everything. And so it is important for you today to really ask yourself, how is my attitude before God? You know, am I maintaining a positive and a cooperative spirit? 
Am I serving God? Am I shining as the light of God? I want to encourage you, brother and sister. Do not grumble. Do not murmur. Sometimes you're tempted when you're going through a tough time to think that God is, is not with you. God has given you some work to do. Things are, not e e e e things are not easy. And you begin to grumble. But I want to challenge you today. Adopt a positive attitude to be grateful at all, all times. I like what David said, that at all times when I bless the Lord, his praise will continually be in my mouth. And so it is important for you and myself, as I preach to myself, to be grateful at all times. When things are good, you're grateful. When things are also tough sometimes, you're just grateful. You are telling God, God, I'm grateful that we have done one, two, three, four. One favorite hymn I like singing is, count your blessings, name them one by one. Are you counting your blessings? Are you grateful no matter what? Do everything without grumbling and murmuring. And as you do that, God is going to bless you. Make yourself a positive Christian. Let the positivity within you be contagious as you serve God, and you'll never regret. May God bless you as you look into that and as you serve him every day as, we, as you look even into this mission month. Remember, today in the evening we are having prayers. We welcome you to join us. Please come, let us pray and trust God for souls, even as we walk with him. God bless you. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.